Jason and I here at the Stoneworks on the South Mound. And um, while we have filmed this and placed this out there, I'm sorry, dog. You can see all of the uh, triangles, the uh, right angle isosceles, uh, equilateral triangles all over the place. Bits aligned to the north, uh, and south, east, west, etc. Uh, pieces that are heavily quartz inclusive, some with nickelene, some with other precious metals, um, but really not any more than what would be the sort of kind of ceremonial uh, use of at this point if anything valuable was once picked over you know however there's just enough to kind of give a kind of a, a overview on just how not uh what i'd say is you know any one of these things is a significant beautiful like inclusive feature it's but then when you have all these repeated pieces, it becomes uh, something much more human engineered. And, you know, that correlates, you know, any one thing, it's like almost camouflage. Uh, but I think when we expose the earth, it's so well hidden that it's gonna be pretty amazing. And I had that vision today of what it really is architecturally um, and how, <laughs> You know, the, arch the, ar the actual archaeology needs to go down to protect it, I think, in so many different ways. Um, but what I'm seeing are a whole series of spirals that radiate outward and form terraces of this particular mound. And I kind of saw that happening on the north mound in the opposite direction and from the dolmen. So now that I see this, I'm realizing that is inherently the design. It's not a pyramid. It's uh, effectively similar in topography to the mounds of the Midwest, uh, Adena and Cahokian, and then down into the south um, with the Mississippian cultures. And those mound sites, I believe, all had, you know, amazing astronomical importance, as well as cartographic relationships to this location. Uh, with absolute precision as I've shown the data modeling. So I'm not trying to make it about uh, this great big um, scientific uh, uncovering because I don't want it to be uh, taken away from the real sacredness of this place. Uh, but for me, this is a very important kind of reality when um, I go through these things where I'm like really feeling... Um, I don't want to call it that sort of shamanic quest, but like it, it's a lonely place at times. Not so much that, you know, I don't enjoy being alone, but rather it's isolating to not have other people understand your set of logic. Um, and that's okay, uh, because I think fundamentally what I'm learning is these spirals coming off of here all effectively have a topography grade that is in sync to each other. And it really forms this, I think, amazing um, reality of stoneworks here on this mound site that has more to do with the terraces of Central America, which, as you can look at these pyramids pointing that direction, that is Central America and Mexico down in that ray way. Like, so I haven't quite aligned the specific pyramidal shapes here carved into the stoneworks, but... Back up, back up. But all of these do, in fact, point to Honduras and Guatemala. And, you know, all of these sites where many of those terrorist uh, archaeological works of art exist today. So, you know, that's where I'm trying to understand what is the bigger thing going on here. Hold up, dog. And we just uncovered this. I'll get my dog unstuck. Come this way, dog. Um, so this was... Come. This was the recent uh, uncovering, and then there was also this. So there's just a lot going on here um, that recently we were able to, to open up that the rains last night and the night before cleaned up real nice. So unfortunately, I haven't gotten more uh, going this year, but what I just, you know, discovered, dare I use that word, is that 
this triangle radiates out and spirals. This one, you know, each segment here has its own relationship to a spiral. Um, and I don't quite know what it means, but I think if you look at the terraces of this mound, and when you start to recognize if you follow a curvilinear pattern from these, it's exactly what's going to happen. So uh, it's kind of exciting to know that all of this is actually culminating in what seems to be, you know, a question I had was like, why are these angles pointing that direction, right? Like there's just a lot of things that you're like, there's a pattern here. AI recognizes it. I recognize it. Uh, what's going on? And increasingly, I'm realizing it somehow represents a larger relationship to this full mound site. So uh, the urgency is on to get us into a position where next spring we're going to be able to really get at it and figure out how to recreate and restore uh, to the original stoneworks. I think it's going to be phenomenal uh, to see some really brilliant ancient thinking. Um, and I have no need to attribute ego to the mix. I have no geopolitical gains, no governmental realities tainting my agenda. This is truly about humanity. And if we understand how big this is, then I think we can all come together globally to do some really bigger things. But that's my faith in humanity um, as a reverend of the kinship of sacred spaces. So uh, I kind of let that lead the, the archaeology and try to keep this as multicultural and open to all that have an interest in understanding what academically actually happens. So I hope you're all doing well. Peace.